I have a lot of plant chores to do. It's crazy. <laughs> Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Brittany. You can call me Bolts. I post new videos every single weekend, so don't forget to like and subscribe. Today we are going to be doing a bunch of plant chores, so if you guys saw my latest videos, we just moved. I moved all of my probably 80 plants now um, over into our new house, and I kind of started to spread them out all over the house, but there are quite a few plant chores I need to get to. The two biggest things on my priority list are to add a moss pole for my Monstera, for Big Bertha, and then I need to repot a few plants. There are a few plants, like my money tree, that desperately need to be repotted because part of it died. We're just gonna do some plant chores today. It is the first week of spring. I also wanna show you guys, I started planting some vegetable seeds and they're germinating right now, and I planted them on the 20th, and it's been four days, and I already see some sprouting, so I'll have to show you guys. So we have Big Bertha. You guys saw her in the move. She has one moss pole, but she desperately needs another one. It's kind of hard to see with this plant. That did not just happen. Awesome, cool, love that. But anyways, it's okay. I need to add a second moss pole because half of the plant is just like, she needs some support, but she's been loving the moss pole. So yeah, Bertha needs a new moss pole. I told you guys I added this moss pole a few months ago. She has been loving it so far. I realized after I did it that I maybe should have used some metal to wrap around the moss to make a moss pole but I did just use wood. That could be problematic later on, but so far it's going okay. So I'm gonna add another moss pole just like I did for this one, and I'll show you guys how we make it. This is also my money tree that desperately needs some help. So it was braided, but one of the braids has died. The rest of the plant is thriving. I propagated tons of baby plants, probably like six different plants from the bottom of here. And they're still sprouting, but this one dead part just needs to be completely taken out, repotted so that she can keep thriving. Then I also need to go around and just get a lot of dead leaves off. But those two are the main priorities. I might repot a few other small plants, but here are the plants in my room. So I've spread out plants throughout most of the house. Of course, I had to add some to our bathroom. It's a little dark in here right now, but I added some to the bathroom. And you guys saw our dining room. Put some plants up in our kitchen as well. I love that long vine right there plant right there, some here, some in here, but I'm definitely going to be moving lots around. This is not our final form of the house, but lots will be added, lots will be moved around, but for now this is how my plants are, and I added one in this bathroom as well. Love that. There's a little propagation in here. And here's my office where I have a lot of my plants still. They've just kind of been in here because there's a lot of light in here. These are the seeds that I started four days ago now. So I'm growing cucumber, squash, peas, snow peas, sweet tomatoes, cherry tomatoes, and sweet peppers. I came in here to check on them today and I was so excited. A cucumber has already sprouted and a pea. So really cool. I just got this little tray from Home Depot. It was $10. It's a self-watering seed starter kit. So you can plant 36 little seeds in here. I already had the seeds and then it came with the dirt as well even though I didn't need it. But there's that. And I just have my grow light that I got from Amazon on it now. 
and I'm excited. But yes, lots of plants in here. There's some leaves, dead leaves that I need to prune off. My original plan was to go outside and do all of like the potting and dirt stuff, but it's super windy right now here in Corpus Christi. It's always windy here. But I think I'll be able to do it inside. We'll just have to be careful and not make a huge mess. Okay, we're doing this in the kitchen since it's too windy outside. But first order of business is the moss pole. So I have three different items. First is the wood stick, the wood stake. This is a five foot piece of wood from Home Depot. Also got this sheet moss from Home Depot. The sheet moss is just really easy to wrap around the wood. I'll show you guys. And then some green twine to wrap around it. So let's open this up. This is really messy. I really wanted to do this outside, but that's okay. It's just too windy outside and I don't have a mic yet. So let's pull this out. Ooh, okay. Gently take it all apart. Lay it all out. So there's four pretty big pieces in here. Just kind of, some of them are folded, so just gently fold them and open them up. But these pieces of moss are like the perfect size to wrap around the wooden stake. So that's why I thought this worked pretty well. So now that it's all laid out, I will start with the first one. Let's do this one. Just lay it on here like that. Wrap it around as tight as you can get it. It's wrapped all the way around there. This is easier if you have two people, but maybe get your string ready before you start doing this. Wrap the first one around tightly. The last half is just hanging on, you know? Then you can wrap the twine around and get it knotted. Okay, perfect. So now that's on there pretty tight and I can just keep wrapping it around. I got a decently long string, but don't mess with a super long string. It'll just make it more complicated. It'll get tangled. So I just cut like maybe two feet of string I'm gonna start wrapping it around this moss here. Just try to keep it tight. There are places where it will get loose, but you can always go back over it with this twine, so. If this is specific for plants. It's like plant string, so you can buy it at Home Depot. So I've got the first part of it done. Now I can add another layer. Let's do Let's do this one. And you can see the edges are not perfectly straight, you know? So on the last moss pole I made, I just kinda looked at the parts that needed to be overlapped so that none of the wood was showing. And just continue on wrapping. Keep it tight. I'll just tie it on to this existing one with a square knot and keep going. One bag of this sheet moss is usually just the perfect amount for a five foot moss pole to make one so i just had the perfect amount last time 
It does get kind of difficult with the pieces of moss that are kind of falling apart. You just kind of got to be patient with it and gentle as you're doing it. But once the string's wrapped around it, it'll stay put. Okay, it's coming along. We just have one more little piece. I used up all the moss and there's just enough at the end to be able to have room to stick it in the dirt. You know, it needs to have room to stick into the dirt, into the pot, so that's just about perfect. I'm holding this because I need to add one more layer of string. I'm going to tie another string here at the end. So I wrapped the sheet moss all the way down and I'm just gonna take the string and go all the way back up so that the moss is nice and sturdy on there and doesn't fall off. Do another square knot. Start going back the other way towards. And doing this also just gives you another chance to secure the little pieces of moss that aren't tight on there, that are kind of loose. These big sections. All done. Very good. Look at the disaster of a mess it made. This is why you want to do this outside, but it was just so windy. You guys wouldn't have even been able to hear me talk. <laughs> so we're done with the moss pole. Now you can just spray it with water and get it to be kind of moist. We'll have to take Bertha down and we might have to get Byron's help to fix some of the leaves and get the moss pole in there. Okay, I got her out here. It wasn't too bad. But Byron is gonna have to help me get it in there. So, I think for all these, you need to have it right here. Yep. Yeah. So that we can tie it to the moss pole now. I honestly probably should have cut some of these off. Might have to eventually. Just kind of got to work with the natural movement of the plant. Let's see if this can be the base. will eventually attach to here. So it's going to be wrapped around. This looks so crazy. So we still have this. I think once you get three, it'll be finally under control. Somewhat. <laughs> Maybe. These roots are crazy. You can just cut them off. It's honestly all your preference, but I kind of like to watch them grow. You can see on this one that's already there all the aerial roots that have been wrapped, and I just try to get them back into the soil after they've been wrapped around. But look at all the new growth here. That's all new growth after I added the moss pole.
I just gave her a nice water. I'm gonna leave her out here for maybe like 20 minutes or something so that the water can drain out. She can just have some time outside and we'll get her when we're done. In the meantime, we will work on repotting. So I need to mix up some potting mix. I have potting soil and perlite. I'll show you guys. I'm just gonna dump them into a big tub. So I have some mixed soil all ready to go. Hi. I'm gonna put it all in this tub. Again, I would love to do it outside, but excuse me. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm trying to do something. I would love to do this outside, especially since I'm making a huge mess, but I don't even know if you guys would be able to hear me in those last clips, so. Okay, I'm gonna put it in this tub here. I have this Texas potting soil. This was pretty cheap soil, honestly. It was like three bucks for the whole bag, but it's pretty chunky. It needs some perlite. So let's dump that in and then mix in the perlite. This is the perlite that I got. I think this was like four bucks or something. So I got these at HEB. I love HEB. Now I just have my shovel and I'm gonna mix it up and see what the mixture looks like. We'll probably have to add in more perlite, but we'll see. I probably should be wearing a mask. I think this honestly looks perfect. We're just gonna be using this for our indoor plants. I'm probably gonna use this for some vegetables too. I bought two tomato plants and a basil plant, so I'll show you they're over here for now, but I do wanna move them outside. I bought these garden containers from the dollar store. They were a dollar each and they're stackable. I actually saw this idea on TikTok, so someone did the same thing but they cut holes in the middle of them all and put a stake, a metal stake in it. So it was sturdy, it was like a sturdy garden tower that wouldn't blow over in the wind. So I was like, that's such a good idea, I wanna try that. So my sweet monstera is next in line. So here's the problem. She was braided and one of the braids has died. So I think I will do this outside. I hope that you guys can hear me okay. I will be purchasing a mic soon so that the audio quality is a little bit better. It's just tough when it's so windy, but I'm gonna move this stuff outside. This is a better setup. So I just moved our swing over. Now we have room out here. So. Basket's dirty, I gotta clean that out. I'm just gonna keep it in the same pot that it's in. Squeeze the pots. We gotta see what's going on in here. I did already pull out part of it that was rotten, so you can kind of see that. There's the dead one. Okay, this is the dead one. No plants. Yeah, this is all rotten. All dead. She's looking good down here though. Wow, I didn't realize how small the roots were. The roots are so small on money trees. I guess I did realize that after propagating some, 
Wow, that looks crazy. You can see where I propagated a bunch of the plants. It's got dog hair on it. Poor thing, I got you. I'm going to fix you up, baby. I'm going to make sure she fits pretty sturdy and well together before I replant her. I think she'll do great. if I could kind of keep twisting it, but it's kind of hard. Filled the pot up a decent amount before I'm gonna put her in. She's doing good. Pushing in the dirt a little bit, just so that she can have some stability and sturdiness to her. Okay, ta-da! I think she's gonna be really happy now. Awesome. And then we'll bring in Big Bertha. It's a little too windy. Wow, she looks so good now. Definitely an improvement. But I think I'm honestly gonna have to add another moss bowl. A smaller one. See right here? She still needs some support. She's going crazy. But much much better look at some of these newer leaves so pretty and this one i think is new too yeah not as holy but <laughs> and the money tree much better tried to twist these two a little bit so that they could support each other <laughs> Kind of looking Dr. Seuss-like, that's for sure. Need to get some dead leaves off of here. Could probably trim some of these leaves. My peperomia is going crazy. I had to put some stakes in it. It started growing up tall and it fell over. need to water my plants too. <laughs> see what what is this doing? What are you doing? The last one I wanted to repot is this one. I don't know why I put my monstera in here. This is a baby from Big Bertha and this pot is so adorable. It's from Bando, but there's not really much you can pot in it, I've realized. I'm actually going to replant all three of these. I'm going to replant my Diffenbachia. This pot does not get good drainage and it's been, the soil has been way too moist. So I'm going to put it in a plastic planter and then put it in this pink pot. I'm going to try to put this Monstera out of Sonari in the strawberry. And then we'll just put the Monstera maybe in one of these or something else. So, oh my goodness. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, this soil was way too wet. It's soaking wet. But the roots are doing really good. The roots were attached to the bottom of the pot. Kind of ripped them. Shake all the dirt out. Oh, yeah, the roots still look pretty healthy. But I'm glad I'm repotting this. So. Let's see, this is the plastic planter I'm going to use. Soil. Yeah, this one especially needed the soil with perlite in it because it was just holding too much moisture. I'm so excited for this one to sprout leaves out. I've been waiting. It started to, but then a dog chewed on it. It was not one of our dogs, but that's okay. She's growing back. Life always finds a way. So, just put 
that hair. Perfect. Much better. Now, let's deal with this one. So I'm gonna have to kind of rip her out. Maybe, let's see if I can fit her through. Oh, see, oh my gosh. This pot is just so cute, but not practical at all. For potting, at least. Okay. So I took a small little plastic pot and cut off the top of it so that it would fit in there. I guess it worked okay. But not ideal for this type of plant. Not ideal for Monstera. I think it would work okay for this one. The root systems are about the same size. It's just not as tall. So it will be a little bit more supported, I feel like. Okay, let's try that. This has some growth towards the bottom. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's sprouting some little leaves. better I don't know I don't know if I love it I think the pot just is not as practical as it is cute but it'll work out for a while it'll be okay for a little bit kind of looks like little strawberry leaves now what are we gonna put this in this is like a very odd Monstera cutting, honestly. I really like to use this pot. I think it'd be cute for in the kitchen. It's really not a pot, but it's more like a vase, I guess. My grandma gave it to me. She used it as a decoration, had fake flowers in here. If I can. work you can still get it out okay let's do that into here perfect and it provides a little support too for the plant okay that's cute I like it Very cute. This is crazy. I have to show you guys this. This was at the bottom of the Diffenbachia pot. This is what the roots broke on. All these healthy roots were under it and growing. Oh, and I just ripped them off. It's okay though. The Diffenbachia will be just fine. It's crazy. <laughs> they look so good. Much needed. I'm like out of breath now. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching and doing some plant chores with me. You guys know I love plants and since we moved there's a lot of rearranging and new things going on. And I've been super tired, but super grateful that we've had all this change. And thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Today, they're actually bringing the washer and dryer for our laundry room, which I'm so excited about. So maybe next week we'll do like an updated house tour. Now that most of our furniture is in here, like I said, it's not in its final form, but that'll take a while with what we want to do. So thank you guys so much. Have an amazing weekend.